It's late, but this is me, the Angry Anime Fan, the Despair Reviewer. Although I technically mostly just review Eden Zero, I can review other stuff also. But this is the late chapter of Eden Zero 154. The Sky Making Ninjutsu. I've been late for various reasons. So, first of all, in this cover page, Shiki is flying, uh, or, flo or should I say, falling with uh, Rebecca to a destination alone. Always informing Rebecca what happened to which and that, but he still blames himself for all of this. So, um, and uh, also uh, that which is in danger. Then suddenly, um, then suddenly robots with, uh, uh, I mean, well, flying machine robots come up. But then Rebecca sees Happy as they float uh, towards Happy. Happy changes actually into a new gun form. I've always wondered could Happy change into more than just twin pistols, and this actually confirms it right. He has also having a minor upgrade, or should I say evolving. He can now become Happy Blaster Assault Rifle Mode. This shows that Rebecca can transform into multiple different... Uh, I'm sorry, Re that Rebecca's Happy can turn into multiple different uh, weapons. In this scenario, this was an assault rifle for more added effect. As Zio kick ass in a fine leotard. Hmm, that's sexy. So, uh, all the while, Ashiki assists her by spinning around. They also meet up with Pino and Moskoi who informs them that they have been separated from the others. Meanwhile, the others uh, are wondering what is going on, as well as Homura trying to get away from uh, Creed, but of course that is not happening. But then we're switching back to the Callum and Lyra versus the Ruthward siblings. What? As they all decide to engage in the battle, the battle begins. And um, they also still say their same way, that my win steals all, and my... and. Uh, and uh, Jin's wins eclipses all. And so he uses the sky making jitsu art of Windstorm Slash on Callum, who actually is revealed to possess an ether gear that makes him turn into mist, and he suddenly says the same sky making jitsu. As it turns out that he too has practiced sky making jitsu. This actually means that um, the ether gear wind, uh, uh, wind rage that. Uh, Chris is uh, possessing is actually not a limited to the sky make in the art. No, sky make is actually a ether gear martial arts that utilizes more many uh, different ether gears. Perhaps many of them related to the wind. In that case, the Callum is using mist, while Chris is using uh, wind. Uh, and the fact that um, unfortunately even Klein suffers some damage, and it turns out that uh, the cards can somehow explode. It's during this time, though, that Chris wonders who are Callum, and it actually turns out that once upon a time, um, they were fellow students in the Skymic Arts, and he was one of the few people who actually treated the rough, uh, rough boy right. Because it turns out the Skymic Dojo actually existed on the planet Gilts. Now that it's been erased, it's very likely that it will not, it doesn't exist anymore. Nine years ago he was a student and he was frequently mocked by the other people as being a robot boy, showing that he was showing the horrible thing that Muller did to him. And even the fact when they began to taunt him over about his sister, it was uh, Callum who showed him kindness said to be a sparing partner. And the fact that uh, never before could uh, Jin win against him in a fighting match, as he even fights some more uh, powerful moves, even showing a misguard punch while uh, Chris is showing a wind god punch, and suddenly, suddenly the mist ether gear actually begins to uh, this turn uh, Chris's body into Mister Two, as it reveals the name of it. It's an Empire ether ether gear called Carburetor, and it will turn him to mist. He can not only become mist, but he can turn others into mist. It's looking bleak from the from the Rufford siblings. I do hope they can recover. It's basically this one. It, this this gives a pretty nice scenario of the Skymic Dojo. This shows also that uh, yes, um, Chris and Jin, uh, uh, Chris Jin has actually been a criminal for most of his uh, youthful life, having studied Skymic in order to uh, become strong enough to protect his sister, and has even chased sister all this while time, all the while being at Planet Guilds because it was saved by. Draken's uh, guilt, uh, I mean, sorry, debt collectors, and always been doing harsh jobs ever since then. Yeah, Chris and Klein has really not had an easy life, but for the first time ever, they are 
having are in an environment that is not toxic or full of hate. The question is, can they overcome this scenario? Knowing them, I think they can. That's basically this chapter. Nice scenario of the sky mech. This makes me wonder though, uh, I mean, Maggie mech was uh, the gravity art, but I do wonder if Maggie mech can be something else other than gravity. I don't really know, but sky mech is likely ether gears of many different elements, as long as it's something around the sky art. Give me your thoughts if you have any.